Next part of this process is um, finding and locating uh, these three uh, divots and setting it up so they can turn and, and rotate. The whole disc shaft needs to be able to rotate 22, uh, 22, 45, and 70 degrees or 75 degrees, I can't remember. Okay, now they need to be able to locate that and lock it in so that the, uh, the disc can rotate and uh, the, uh, the whole mechanism stays firm. So I put the divots at uh, 22, 45, and what's 22 and 45? 65, 67 degrees. But when we, if we put a bolt down through this, we don't have a whole lot of meat to work with. And these need to be incredibly stout bolts with bolts with lots of thread, and uh, probably uh, number eight bolts, which is uh, uh, pretty stout, high-grade steel. So uh, instead of putting just a regular nut here, and, and actually I need two because we have two levels, uh, I came in with a block of steel, and I'm going to drill two holes in this steel at the exact height of the of the nut so that we can put one nut in here then if we need to rotate we unscrew that nut we rotate and then we put the lower nut into the next one problem is we've got a kind of a rocking horse here and so I need to take some material out of the interior here so I can get a good solid grip and uh, the way I've done it and we're going to go over to the mill and I'll show okay, you Okay, we've taken the up. entire mill head and rotated it 45 degrees to get that bit to show uh, an arc. And if you can see, in fact, maybe what we'll do is just go ahead and do our next cut. Almost there. Now it turned out that I had the head set uh, at a 45 degree angle from another project, so uh, it was an easy, easy number here. Uh, okay, so now turn off the machine. Let's pull that piece out. And we've got a nice arch in our block. And I think we should take this over to the other, um, to the, uh, the, um, actually, you know what, let's just bring it over here. Okay, there's our head. Uh, let's go ahead and back up a bit. There we go. And we want this thing to sit right on top of there. Now it looks like it sits with a bit of a uh, gap in it, so I think I might just come in and trim off both sides of that. You know, we're talking about just kind of a place to drop this so we can weld it in place. So let's go ahead and trim that a little bit. All right, it's not the prettiest job in the world. You know, we've got a couple of steps there, but the reality of it is is that it fits pretty well. And as I said, we're looking at welding uh, the edges up or along this line here and then drilling holes in that. So I think we're in good shape.
We're cutting the other one right now. We'll be back We've in a few. We've got two pieces arched. As I said, not a real pretty arch, but uh, still arched all the same. And that'll fit in between so that we can run beads down each end. Now, uh, what we need to do now is flip it over and drill two holes, two exact holes, uh, dead center on the, on the divots in the shaft. So uh, one of the things we've got to do first out is uh, go ahead and bring the head back into uh, plumb, you might say. So uh, we're going to go ahead and loosen that up and uh, drag it. So he wants, uh, this is the disc part of the process, and he wants to uh, make the discs at a 22 degree angle and a 45 degree angle and a 67 and a half degree angle every 22 degrees. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we put our uh, put our axle in and this needs to be able to rotate, right? So then, um, and can we see that? No, you can't. So let me back up just a little bit. Oh, back up the other way. There we go. Okay, so here's the axle for the disc. And what I'll do is I'll just take uh, take my uh, um, uh, protractor level, which I got in France, which was a pretty cool little tool, and uh, bring it down until it gets... Uh, level at uh, what do we got here 22 and a half degrees come in with a pencil mark my my position and then uh, go ahead and take the shaft off and I can see the mark for the pencil and go ahead and put myself a little a little uh, ink mark there and then come in later in fact we'll just do that right now And we're going to go ahead and set Okay, so we've got six holes here, and what I'm going to do is I went and got um, six grade eight bolts, and we're going to come in with a uh, with a surface grinder and grind a point onto the end of these bolts, and then gr and then drill a point into this hole here, and uh, and when it gets put on the uh, shaft, it will have a uh, you know it will have a, a mate it'll match up and so then basically it just tightens the bolt up puts a lock nut on tightens that down and that thing should hold just fine so next step is to uh, either we drill these which I don't think I want to drill them just yet I think what we're going to do is go ahead and tap the holes in the tops of these blocks here and uh, we'll run a tap down these, and then we'll clean up the interior a little bit just to uh, make sure we have a good slide. And uh, so far we have a pretty good slide. And then uh, once we get that done, then uh, we could start uh, putting the bolts in and hey, I think we might actually be close. And this is the last implement of the uh, of the project so then once I get this done oh yeah I gotta put a grease fitting in this rotation piece so that he can grease that so you know we'll probably just come in someplace along in here and run a 
little grease hole in there and tap it and run a fitting into it. We'll be back in a minute. All right, so we've taken a couple of uh, two and a half inch, half inch bolts. We've tapered the end so that it will fit into the uh, divot that we've drilled into the shaft. And uh, you can kind of see it's a perfect fit, uh, 60 degrees. You know, the end of a drill bit and 60 degrees there. <clears throat> and then we uh, um, threaded or tapped uh, a couple of holes in the um, in the uh, pivot and now and I put a little grease on there because this is going to be the assembly moment let's put a little bit more grease just to make sure <clears throat> cleaned out the uh, yes it's all clean and we drop this in And just for the moment, just to make just to make it to uh, get it to kind of hold in place. Let's see where where our little divot is. There it is. Uh, so then you just come in and continue to wiggle it until it, uh, you get all the wiggle out. <clears throat> and then the theory is. That, that will hold this piece pretty solid come in tighten the the counter lock nut and this uh, this one is for the 22 degree or the 45 degrees this one is for the 22 and a half degrees and 67 and a half degrees so because you couldn't I couldn't get the the dimples to be on the same line so I had to do two bolts so then I just kind of snug down this one here just to make sure that it stays in place. And uh, then we put uh, a stop washer back here and we get ourselves a nut. <clears throat> put a little Loctite on the nut because that's never gonna come out. It's just gonna sit there. And tighten it up. Let's make sure that our measurements are all okay. And that this thing is going to be loose. Yep, it's nice and loose. That's good for that. Now we're going to rotate around to the uh, to the disc part of this. Okay, so now uh, we've got three washers, two thrust washers, and a and a in a sense a hold down washer. We're going to uh, clean off the shaft, make sure all the dust and crap is off of it because this is where the uh, grease goes on. And this washer, uh, as you saw earlier, I. Uh, reamed out so that it would fit over the top of that. Now let's get the disc. We're going to uh, clean out the, the contact hole. Although it's all pretty clean, but it has been sitting around for Oh, a couple of weeks or so. Put the disc on. That's not bad. You know, I'd like to just throw a little grease on it. Even though I'm going to grease it later, I just want to get a little bit of grease on it just to make sure that it's, uh, it's going to be okay for the moment. looks good now uh, and you can't really see it from there but let's turn you around here yeah that's better we've got another thrust washer that goes in here that kind of lands 
right where the shoulder is. And then uh, the lockdown washer and then the castle nut, well, semi-castle nut because I only cut two, two slots. Oh, yes. This is the last time this is ever going to see grease. So, and uh, over the years, it's going to definitely rust if we don't get some grease on there. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of grease on the threads. <coughs> Roll it down where it belongs. Snug it up. And we need to put a cotter pin in. And I know there's a place for a cotter pin because I drilled it. There it is. <coughs> cotter pin, tap it into place a little bit. I like to just grab one side of the cotter pin and rotate it up. And over the top. I guess this comes from old auto mechanic days working in a gas station. You make the cotter pin so that it can be taken off pretty easily because in those days you, when you used wheels, they'd always had a cotter pin that you had to take off. So, now we got a good spin. Now all we got to do is come in and uh, give ourselves a little grease in the grease fitting. And, and fill up that empty space. Clean off the excess grease. And we got ourselves a nice, evenly spinning, well greased disc that can rotate back and forth. Uh, let me clean off the grease down here too. Okay, and our customer is going to be showing up later on this morning uh, to pick up this stuff. Remember, we did the uh, the uh, plow uh, the plow with uh, fingers off of it for a potato plow. We did the blade, which happened. Oh my God! It must have been a month or so ago. Uh, that uh, for carrots and. Uh, we also did the uh, guide wheels, which we just finished the other day. And, uh, and now what's finished is the, um, is the, uh, the uh, disc uh, with the rotation. And, uh, <clears throat> oh, and then of course we did the, uh, the toolbar itself. That was pretty much the first thing. And that, that must have been a month and a half ago that that happened. You know, there's been a lot of projects in between. And uh, this was one where he said, well, I yeah, don't really need it till spring. And it's now late February uh, and uh, we've got it done for him. He's going to come pick it up. Hey, uh, this was fun and we've got lots more projects coming up. So keep an eye out. Keep, uh, keep 
tuning in. Uh, subscribe to me and then I'll send you an email and uh, when I put something new up and uh, and you'll uh, you'll be able to get a message. So this is Nick Collier and uh, we're done with this project. We get to go on to doing this other project. I'm going to rotate you around here. This other project is uh, another little Geo Metro that uh, my wife just loved. She said, oh, you know, the, the little Geo that we have has a bunch of dents in it, as Geos will have. And this one hardly has any. And she just went, oh, this is really a great one, Nick. And, uh, but it had a blown clutch. So uh, we're putting a new clutch in and you can kind of see what happened to the clutch. Uh, uh, one of the uh, um, thrust springs popped out and got kind of tangled up into the clutch system and uh thing quit working so we're putting a new clutch in there you can kind of see underneath there's a transmission and and um yesterday afternoon i got it completely apart went and got the parts that i needed and uh and we're gonna put this back together again so this is nick collier signing out uh, it's late february and uh we'll see you again <laughs>